What's good, YouTubers and YouTubettes? This is JB Sports back again with another one. Floyd Money Mayweather always making news, always keeping his name relevant, always keeping his name in the top headlines of boxing, man. This guy here is a, is a classic uh, self-promoter, man. He, anytime anybody's getting any kind of love, man, he wants to implement himself into the conversation to show everybody, move the needle, and show everybody that he still runs boxing. As he said in uh, a lot of times, numerous times throughout his boxing career, man. <laughs> it's crazy, man. The guy came out with a video and said, uh, he, I guess, guess he was talking to some potential uh, Saudi Arabia investors that's going to invest on a potential uh, Floyd Mayweather fight. He, say, he said, I'm paraphrasing, he said, it's an honor to sit down and talk with you guys. I look forward to sitting down and talking with you guys about a Floyd Mayweather versus Manny Pacquiao rematch. Floyd Mayweather is on his way, baby. Basically, is what I'm paraphrasing what Floyd Mayweather said in the video. And I'm going to tell you right now, this is absolutely nonsense. The fight's not happening, man. He's pulling. People got short memories, man. You got short memories. Remember him and uh, Pacquiao was in some club in Tokyo calling each other out, saying they want to fight, they want to fight. And Floyd Mayweather said, easy work, easy work, easy work. You, and uh, basically looking to the camera and saying, all right, you're going to get Pacquiao uh, Mayweather too coming soon. And basically right after that, he got into, he fought an exhibition in Japan <laughs> against a crybaby named Tension. That's what happened. And that's what this is about, folks. I'm going to tell you right now, that's what this is about. He's, he's, he's throwing uh, Pacquiao name into the conversation to pique Saudi Arabia's investors' interest. Because he see the money that they're throwing around for the AJ a Ruiz rematch with a site fee was allegedly $84.6 million. Floyd Mayweather saw that. He's like, shoot, if uh, they can get $84.6 million, I, okay, I'll just do this video and throw Manny Pacquiao name in, out saying that we might fight in Saudi Arabia and see uh, and get them people really excited about that fight happening. And I go down there and say, hey, man, you know, I'm not going to fight him, but I will show up and fight in your country. And uh, I'll fight another exhibition against another uh, Asian nobody. You know, fight a three-round exhibition. That's what he's looking to do. He's looking to he's looking to make a make a, a quick, quick, easy money like he did against Crybaby Tension back in Japan. He's looking to uh, span to the Middle East. He say he's throwing money around crazy like that, man. Let me see if I can get a piece of that pot. So that's that's what this is all about, folks. We're not going to see no Manny. Look, Floyd is a smart fighter in the ring and outside of the ring. You think he's going to um, jump into the ring with a fight Manny Pacquiao? After a two and a half, two year layoff, his last fight, I'm not counting the tension fight, I'm not counting the McGregor fight. Them fights, I'm talking about a real fight. The last time he was in a, a professional uh, a fight against a professional boxer was Andre Berto. And that was what, 2000, was it 2017? Uh, early part of uh, two, May, May of, uh, I guess it had to be the, either had to be May of 2017 or September of 2016. I can't remember, it's one of those two days. So it's basically been two years to two and a half years since he he been in the ring. So you gonna you say he's gonna be out of the ring for two to two and a half years and jump in the ring and fight Manny Pacquiao, who's been active, just got through uh beating uh, Keith Thurman, an undefeated champion at welterweight. Before that, he fought Lucas Matisse. You can say he was washed and uh, worn out, but Matisse had just got through winning some kind of uh, secondary belt before that, and he just he washed him up in uh up in the Philippines. So this guy's been active. Active, active, and you gonna jump in the ring and fight him? A lot of people saying, "Oh, well, maybe he'll take a couple tune-ups." Well, he gonna take a couple tune-ups, then uh, that fight's not gonna be next. If you going down there to um, to Saudi Arabia to talk a potential matchup with Manny Pacquiao, you you know you would think they'd be talking about that fight happening uh, sometime early next year. If he's gonna fight a couple of uh, one or two tune-ups, that fight's not gonna happen early next year. Cause he he probably better get a fight in maybe maybe at the end of this year. Maybe PBC PBC got a lot of fighters waiting to get dates. Or maybe they can jump him in front of the line because he's Floyd Mayweather and get him a fight at the end of the year. But still, if he, if he takes one fight at the end of the year, he's not going to be ready to fight uh, uh, early next year because Pacquiao said he wants to fight uh, early uh, 2020. Last time, last you know, you notice he fought um, Adrian Broner in January. So you would think he wouldn't want to probably fight again, keep on that same schedule that fits around his uh, senatorial duty. He'll probably want to fight in um, January of 2020. That would be too early for Floyd to fight. And another thing, another thing people missing out on, Floyd Mayweather, when the last time Floyd Mayweather fight out, fought outside of Vegas? I'm talking about in a professional fight. I'm not talking about against Cry Baby Tension. That's an exhibition fight for easy money. I'm talking about professionally. Even when he fought McGregor, that fight was in Vegas. 
He fought Pacquiao in Vegas, Cotto in Vegas. Every fight he fought, Birdo in Vegas. He fights everybody in Vegas. Now all of a sudden he gonna go to a to a foreign country, Saudi Arabia of all all, all countries, and fight Pacquiao. You know, you know, you don't know how to you know how the uh, judging gonna be. You don't know how the referee is gonna be. You got a, a country that ain't used to putting on a fights. Period, especially a fight of that magnitude. You know what I'm saying? You don't you don't know you don't know all kinds of shenanigans going on. You heard Andrew Reed say he, reason why he don't want to go to Saudi Arabia because he don't have no protection over there. But Floyd Mayweather and Manny Pacquiao are gonna go over there and fight. Come on now, that's that's, that's just, just use common sense. Andrew Reed's got got uh, issues about going over there, and he sh and, and, and as well he should. When you look at the situation that's been going on over there, they just had a missile that launched at an airport in June. Okay, ain't nobody going over there fighting, fighting, no major fight over there. Everybody like, well, JB Sports, the WWE went over there and fought. That's the WWE, man, that's scripted. We talking about people going over there, putting their uh, records on the line, putting their titles on the line. This ain't no nothing that's staged. We talking about something that's, that's not staged. Hopefully that ain't staged. Hopefully that the fix ain't in, but you never know over there. You know what I'm saying? You got women over there get treated like secondary citizens. 19 of the, uh, I think the 21 hijackers were from Saudi Arabia that ran those planes into the buildings in New York on 9-11-2001. You feel me? So, you know, this, this, is a, this is a terrorist hotbed, Saudi Arabia. You know what I'm saying? You had a journalist get, went over there and got murdered, and they didn't, they didn't take in no kind of responsibility. Went over there and got murdered, got choked down. As soon as he walked into the, uh, walked into the building, somebody attacked him and choked him, choked him out, and then they cut him up. They said, cut him up. Until it's pieces, like he was some kind of t uh, tender T-bone steak or something. That's absolutely ridiculous. You know what I'm saying? Nobody gonna go over there and uh, Al Heyman or nobody's gonna go over there and sign out. If he ain't gonna let Andrew Reeves go over there, you think he gonna let uh, Floyd Mayweather go over there and, and possibly uh, put his uh, his self in danger? No, nah, it's not gonna happen, man. It's nothing but talk, folks. It's nothing but talk. Floyd, 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 to go over there. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying Floyd wouldn't go over there. He'll go over there for an exhibition fight. That's an exhibition. That's nothing that's going to go on the road. He'll go over there. But for a fight against a man in Pacquiao, and they haven't fought uh, competitively in two and a half years, he's not going over there to fight him. If, he, if that fight ever is going to take place, it's going to be in Las Vegas. That's where Floyd, all his big fights fight, has fought at. Since he's been the cash cow boxing, he's been fighting in Vegas. So don't believe don't believe the hype. As, um, as uh, my boy Flavor Flav said, don't believe the hype. Don't believe the hype, boy. Don't believe it. It ain't happening. Nothing but talk. You know what I'm saying? If he would have said maybe uh, Floyd Mayweather came out and said, "Look, I'm gonna take a tune up, and then me and Floyd, me and uh, Manny Pacquiao are gonna fight uh, some sometime in the spring of 2020 in Las Vegas." Yeah, I would believe that. But for him, for you, for them to say he, he going down there to get on a plane and talk with some Saudi Arabia investors about a Manny Pacquiao Floyd Mayweather uh, rematch. And uh, he said he'll be there soon and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, for him to say that, man, especially out off the uh, backs of what he did, uh, people got short memories, man, what he did at, up in Tokyo, up in that club with uh, Pacquiao, where they talked about they they wanted to fight each other. And, again, he was talking about the easy work, and he ended up fighting the attention in Japan. So I, I suspect that's, this is the same type of situation, man. He, he's looking to uh, he's looking to cash, cash, get some money, man, out there in Saudi Arabia. He said, y'all throwing money around like this. Let me get a piece of that pie, man. Now, I think it's nothing more than nothing less than that, man. He's looking to make some money over there. And so look look forward to seeing uh, Floyd Money Mayweather fighting another uh, exhibition out there in Saudi Arabia. Maybe they got some uh, kick kickboxers out there in Saudi Arabia that he can fight, man. Three-round fight, make some quick, easy money in front of some Saudi Arabian investors and the Saudi King and the Royal Flamin and all that down there. They could be down there watching that fight. And that's, 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 that's what this is all about, folks. Don't look, you're not going to see Manny Pacquiao, Floyd Mayweather, no Saudi Arabia. That's not going to happen. I'm telling you right now. If if it does happen, I'll be the first one to come with a video and, and say I was wrong and, and eat some humble pie. But I'm telling you right now, they are not fighting in no Saudi Arabia. I don't think Floyd Mayweather is coming back. But if he does come back, he's not going to fight uh, Manny Pacquiao straight off the streets. He's not going to do that. I don't care if people say, well, he's been training, he's been staying, staying in shape. Yeah, that's one thing to be training, man. We're talking about live fighting, live in a, in a boxing ring, fighting a guy that's uh, that's been very active. And a guy that's, you know, this not no any guy, this not no anybody fighting. This is one of the all-time greats. And even at the age of 40, is still a high-level fighter. He's not going to jump in the ring, <laughs> jump in there and fight him cold like that. He's going to have a, a tune-up. He's going to have a tune-up at least. And then when the fight, in, 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 even if the fight does take place, 
it's not going to be in no Saudi Arabia, man. They, ain't, they don't even want to end the Reeves fighting out there. It's not safe. So Floyd Mayweather's not going to have a big fight out there. An exhibition or something like that in front of a few thousand investors in Saudi Arabia, like I said, Saudi Arabia, the royal family, and, and that, that's yes, one thing. And that's, that's nothing. That's, you know, you fight an exhibition making some easy money. But, you know, we're talking about a, a fight that's going to probably decide what, what fighter is the best of this era. That's basically what this fight will determine. Who's the best of this era? People are already trying to say that uh, based on his win against Keith Thurman that uh, Pacquiao is the best fight of this era. And, you know, and you got people that's uh, saying, nah, nah, he, he, you know, how can he be the best fight of this era when he lost to Floyd Mayweather, the best fight of this era? So that fight there in a rematch would be, you know, whoever win that fight would would have the uh, have the claim as the best fight of this generation. So they're not going to put no fight like with that, with that, that on the line. With that on the line, they're not going to put no fight in no Saudi Arabia. You know what I'm saying? With a place that's not using the, um, putting on a fight of that magnitude. They put on a couple of WWE fights staged. And that's about it. And they put on Mir Khan when he, when he pulled a featherweight up there to fight. And I, you know, and that was in a different part of Saudi Arabia. So that's another thing. You know, if if he does fight an exhibition, who to say it's gonna be where uh, Andy Ruiz and uh, and AJ fight was uh, you know supposed to take place at up in Rajda. That fight, you know, they got another uh, they got other parts of uh, Saudi Arabia that's a little bit uh, less of a threat. You know, that's that, that, that area right there in Saudi Arabia is a level two threat. The whole country is level two threat, but they got other places that, that a lot of tourists comes. So maybe he's fighting in that part of Saudi Arabia. I, I don't know. I don't know. They might be talking about that part of Saudi Arabia. And I can see him maybe fighting that, that part of uh, Saudi Arabia. Over there, with a, they got like a tourist town in the Saudi Arabia that a lot of people from the west and uh, from the west uh, visit. People from uh, the UK, people from the United States, they visit. It's like a real destination for tourists so maybe they have a fight over there in, in that part of Saudi Arabia who knows but uh if, if like I said if you see Floyd Mayweather in the ring in Saudi Arabia he's fighting the exhibition you're not gonna see him in the ring fighting no Manny Pacquiao so that's just uh my two cents on it man so I know that you the uh YouTube world is going in the friends right now everybody thinking this fight is gonna happen in Saudi Arabia I'm here to put a kibosh on that it's not happening you heard it here from JB Sports it's just it's just something that uh Pacquiao maybe was gonna go down there and maybe try to set up an exhibition fight down there man try to get some more money some quick easy money like he did up in Japan that's what this is about people this is JB Sports the man the myth the legend I holler